Hello everyone, this is Anne from Odulcina Scrap. Are you a purple lover? It's not a color that I use often, I must admit, but I had that gorgeous applique from Esme Crafty Me Shop and I needed to use it. So I decided to create a bundle in the purple shade so here you go this will be listed in my etsy shop as this video will go on and let me show you what it is it is not a journal it is just an ephemera cover so because you can create a journal out of it um you have the pockets, you have everything inside and uh, you can just add a signature and you have a journal or you keep it as an ephemera holder. So look at that. It is just gorgeous, gorgeous appliques from Crafty Me Shop. It's all laces from Crafty Me Shop. And one of the flowers that I've done, the bow. And I followed my recipe from last time. So I did about the same, but in different colors. And at the back, you have some prints from the coffee. So inside, let me show you inside. There's that kit, shabby flowers that I've created more than a year ago that has a lot of purple. So I thought I, I could use it. It's a file folder and I've included a little decoration that you can add to a journal if you create a journal using those colors, little deco there. Then here, again, this is a Crafty Me Shop kind of lace that I really love. And because the colors are perfect, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> because I kept it in my stash. Yeah, for big year, I would say. This is a little booklet. So there's a special paper, embossed paper, and then four of those coffee stain paper. You have lines here to write and it's attached with a thread as the old fashioned way. And it's Crafty Me Shop laces as well. Here, this was in my stash. It's, it's an old lace. It's in those cereal box, the plastic for the cereal. I did a tutorial on how to do those. I'm going to put the link in the description below. And here, just because I didn't want to glue this whole paper, I thought it would be a good like talk spot. So I've added a little piano paper that I printed on. This was another tutorial in the past. Let me I'm going to put I'm going to put the link in the description below as well. I'm thinking while I'm doing the, while I'm showing all of that. Oh, this pocket too. I did a tutorial on how to do those blouse pockets. So, okay. In the description of this video, I'm going to put a couple of links because I'm using the things that I've done on camera or off camera, but I love to do, I love to work in batches. So this is what happens. And uh, this is a trio card. That's another tutorial that I done. Just tackling them together. And a booklet using all of my scraps. I've been doing tons of booklets like that. Like it's probably almost a year ago. And I still have some. Here we have a pocket and this pocket will was not closed but you kind of slide it under the edge of that that big flower here 
like that for the closure. So inside the pocket, because that it's an envelope, I've included that big scrappy pad. It's really a big one. Lots of paper there. And it has some purple. So like that. All right. This is for the ephemera holder. And then we have this envelope. It's uh, finished inside with tracing paper, so it makes that sound that we love. And at the back, it's it has a little number that I printed on fabric. This is just gorgeous. Oh, I don't know why I'm not keeping it. <laughs> okay. Um, I included, this is one of my uh, swatch tops that, as you can see, you can just add it there, use a paper clip, and you have kind of a decoration. So it's a vellum envelope, and inside I've added a bunch of wax seals that are in the mauve and purple and one is kind of silver gray with a bit of purple in it because the team is the color here All right so you have wax seals you have from the same kit then this folder you have tags so out of the tag i've created another little booklet and decorated it so it's included there and a little booklet that has a doily and um, it's just a simple booklet like that so all that inside the envelope the journal and I'm adding those flowers those silky flowers that I've created in the past and are in the good colors. This is my first and only purple kit. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one soon. So I love that color, but the problem is that I don't have a good stash of fabric and decorations to create in this purple shade and that's why I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one soon so if you're a purple lover that's your chance thanks for watching have a blessed week bye bye